Yeah. Um, and the thing is, if you have a bucket, and I'll show you, you can no, you poke don't. the sticks in the bucket. Um, this is the size of the bucket. And I did this one, for example, the other day when I had a group. Um, and you have to move around. And then you can make heads or tails or have fun at the top. Sometimes I make a figure of the head and the arms and turn see what I'm doing. So and this, of course, wasn't done in the ground. Right, you started in a basket. Bucket. Or a bucket, okay. Yes. On a bucket. On a bucket. So, so you, you make it in a bucket and then you move it into the ground. Exactly. Right? Yeah, okay. Exactly. You just poke it down into the ground. Yeah. So that's a, you know, that's a very simple thing to do. Nice. And it can be big or as small as you like. Yeah, that's cute. Um, and it's, cute. it's so easy to do in a way. Yeah. So basically the pieces that are inside the bucket go in the ground. Yeah, you that's right. You'll see. You'll, you'll see. Yes. Yeah. 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 You'll see. So that's a very simple way. It doesn't take too much material. There's usually 12, 12 uprights to hold it. And then you just play at the top with whatever. So it's just uprights and then you weave around and do something at yeah, the top. Yeah, that's right. And you make it smaller. I mean, you have to make sure that everybody's going in the right direction. Yeah. You know, unless you want to go out this way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's easier if you just tie them at the top yeah. to get them to, to come. Make as well. oh, so they're coming yes. in. But you want them all to go where you want them, you know. You just have to sort of organise them at the beginning. And then, of course, peonies. I think behind here there's a peony. And this is very easy. Oh, that's very easy. And, and that's very easy way. Because you know, peonies always fall over when the rain comes. We have many, we have many flowers that need this kind of thing. Yeah. Well, well, sometimes, I mean, sometimes I find with things like um, morning glory, it's really easier to take the whole thing up and start again. Because some things, when they grow, they grow into your your trellis. Yeah. It's yes. so difficult to get them out. Now, um, I have grown on these tall things, which my daughter gave me, um, cucumbers and, um, oh, I did those birdhouse things one year. But they, if you get big things, at the farm I had about three huge tall ones, and they all blew over in the wind. And I realized I should have put a really huge stick in the middle. And yes. you learn by experience. Mm. Mm -hmm. But um, these these things, of course, are from wherever. I can't remember she gave them to me now. But I've had them for quite a long time. But I I feel it's really much easier to pick your own. <laughs> yeah, that is a real yeah. Now, you would just leave that in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. But, of course, the pyramids will die back. Yes, yes. But then, then it's there next year. Yeah. Or do it right in the spring, uh, just the before. The trick to do is to do it before the pennies have come up too far. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, get it done. Yeah. One of those spring jobs. Where yes, where so before many. they've come up, just pop it round. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be much. You know, it doesn't need to be a huge barricade. It just needs to be a little fence so you keep it tucked in. That's really cute. It is nicer than those, you know, the 